All right, so we gave Maya a frozen carrot, the first one. She's still kind of teething, so you read that it feels good on their teeth and their gums. And it also keeps them occupied. And it's kind of like a treat for her. I think she's still trying to figure out what to do with it exactly. Show your carrot. There you go. Good girl. Some of you may be wondering why the last two videos were either in here in the living room or in the backyard. Well, the reason for that is because she has not had all of her vaccinations yet. Now, when puppies are young like this, they um, are highly susceptible to parvovirus, which can be deadly for puppies and even older dogs. But puppies are more apt to get it if they go places where other dogs have been or, I mean, even going places to the vet, taking them out outside of our contained backyard, you know, even to just down the street where the mailboxes are, she could pick that up from, you know, a dog that may have done their business out there. So until she gets all of her shots, she has to stay, she has to stay confined. I'm sure her being a lab, she wants to run around and go out there and start working, which we will do coming up. But for now, we have to keep her in the house. Or the Even when we go to the vet's office, we have to keep her on off the floor and off the ground outside because there may have been a sick dog out there, a sick cat, who knows. And they may she may pick up a parasite or parvo or any some other kind of disease. So for now, she has to be contained, but she seems to do okay with it. She's starting to get way more bitey. She's starting to nip at a lot of things and you can kind of see over on the cat's tree, she kind of tore that up. She chewed a couple wires. She's just chewing everything right now. So we've been trying to work with her redirecting. Ah, leave it, drop it, leave it. Come here, come here, here, here you go. Hey, right here, there you go. Trying to keep her, trying to teach her that you don't bite people or just trying to teach her the stuff that you're not allowed to bite. These are the things that she is able to chew on. Now the teething is probably gonna get worse in the coming weeks as her puppy teeth start falling out and she starts getting her adult teeth so we're looking forward to that we're probably gonna pick her up some more chew toys but not like good stuff you got grass in your ears oh you're getting a bath today aren't you leash training has been going okay she's been kind of you know she'll sit so we can put the leash on and she knows to wait before we go outside she still likes to run around and be crazy sometimes especially during the evening, which is called witching hour, where they just get this sudden burst of energy and nobody can really explain why that is. They just do. But we're getting there. We've been working with the clicker a lot more as well. And we're gonna start incorporating that in the leash training in the next few days. She still, she does pretty good. She still pulls on it. She still tries to bite her leash. We even got a, a metal chain leash to kind of deter her from biting her leash all the time. She still tries to chew on it, but only for a few seconds when she realizes 
she doesn't like chewing on metal. It's perfectly fine. It's perfectly okay. It's perfectly safe. Isn't that right, Maya? See, you got all these toys, but you still want to chew on everybody else. <laughs> We're still trying to work with redirecting her from chewing on us, the couch, everything else, to chewing on her toys. You see, she keeps trying to go for me. Here, no, leave it, leave it. There you go. Good, good. Nope, leave it. Good girl. See, you chew on that and not me. There you go. There you go. She want, you can tell she just wants to play, but there's times where you have to show her that her biting behavior is not good behavior. Working on trying to get her to stop chewing and going crazy and biting me, biting us, biting the couch. So the way we try to do that is to redirect her with one of her toys. You see how she's chewing on my shoe? Nope, leave it. Leave it. Hey, leave it. No more carrots for you. Leave it. No. You see how she's going crazy? So this is what we do. We leave. Now we're taking the fun away. Wait a few seconds, and then we'll go back. Someone has the zoomies. I think someone's tired. Sit. Here. Sit. Sit. Maya, here. Good girl. You're gonna find out where my stash is in a minute, huh? Sit. Nope, we're almost done. We're almost done. Nope, sit. Maya, here. Good girl. That's a good girl. See, you're getting up. There you go. Sit. Been in there for you. They're all gone. Sit. Here. Good girl. Sit. My sit. Good girl. Stay. Nope. Down. Down. Good girl. Wait, 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 good girl. Sit, wait, here, good girl. It's right here, it's right here. There you go, that's a good girl. You did a good job. You did a good job. We'll do some more later. Can't put her on the floor yet because she hasn't had all her shots. So we have to hold on to her. She's getting her second round of shots today. And then she'll be back in three weeks for her last dose. And then she'll be able to be on the floor, go to the dog park, explore outside of our house, which will be awesome.